Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarlet here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. And today the Xbox test shard has gone live. So we'll go over the email, how to properly do it, etc. So on your screen right now is my email. It says, thank you for your interest in the new Xbox test shard. Your Xbox account has been granted access to the shard based on the account email information you provided. To install the shard on your Xbox, please follow the instructions listed at the end of the message. The Xbox test shard is updated with the same build that can be found on the Mimic server, which is the PC test preview shard. This content is not considered final and is always subject to change. Now here's the problem that I have with this so far. It's players are not able to import their characters from the Xbox Live shard. So advantage of the PC is that you could just copy your PC character a thousand times and copy everything you need over. So a general list of character classes and item levels are available for importing. Players can also create new characters if they wish. Uh, importing characters from the general list will log you out. Logging back in will then display the imported characters. We'll see all this later in the video here. Uh, a discussion message board has been made for the Xbox preview shard, which will be here. We look forward to your feedback, blah, 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 blah. So I've been harping on Cryptic for years about the preview shard and the lack of things available. We'll get more into that when we get over there. But let's go ahead and look at this. So Xbox shard install instructions on your Xbox. You'll go to your device and connections. Remote features needs to be enabled. So very quickly, let's just switch over to my console. So you're going to go down here to your devices and connections, remote features, and mine has always been enabled, so if you didn't have yours enabled, you will have to click this box. You can then turn it off at a later date. It's not that big of a deal. So you have to have the remote features active. As you can see, mine's installing right now. So after that, you'll simply click on this link, sign in with your Microsoft account. After signing in, you may get an error that the page doesn't exist. You'll click sign in in the upper right hand corner, which I did have to do. You'll select get to claim the game, refresh the page if the get button doesn't come. After you claim the product, it'll say install to, and you can click on your Xbox where you want to install it. So when you click that link, this is what's going to be popping up. You'll have to sign into your Xbox account. It'll say this page does not exist. You'll just click up here in the right corner to sign in again, and then the Neverwinter beta branch will appear. It'll say where do you want to install it to. You'll click this, and it'll show on your Xbox. Um, basically, I have it installing right now. So if we go look here and see what our percent is. Uh, so it's almost 30 gigabytes. So it is going to be, it appears, a, a totally separate, separate client from the actual game. Whereas on PC, it's just a simple click of a button for your login server on where you're logging in. Uh, on PC, it is two different clients technically as well. There are patch files. So I can imagine that your preview shard on Xbox is going to patch fairly often every time there's a patch on PC for the preview shard. You're most likely going to get that on Xbox. It should be uh, in sync with each other, uh, but with like the Xbox access and everything, I don't know how the licensing goes. Uh, but for this to work, it's going to have to be around the same time. So we're going to discuss this uh, further. I'll log in for the first time. We'll see what we have going on. We'll go through all that together. So we'll cut the video here, and then I'll cut back to when this is done, and we're ready to log in. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> so I got everything installed. Um, so you can clearly see... They didn't really take very much time to make this icon. Uh, they just tossed a big green beta symbol over it. So let's uh, jump into this for the very first time. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, I don't want this video to get super long, but let's let's at least get the basis covered and see, uh, you know, exactly how to do this. What we got, the classes that they gave us. I'm assuming they gave us one of every class and who knows item level and what gear. And let's just see what happens overall here. So, like I said earlier in the video, you're not going to be able to, unfortunately, transfer any of your Xbox characters to the Xbox preview server. Uh, it's all pre-made. 
um, classes and item levels. So I don't know what that means. So we're gonna we're gonna find out together what that means. Um, I'm just gonna obviously go with the warlock and see what kind of gear set they gave us and things like that. Or it's just a naked character. Who knows? Um, I've been telling Cryptic for years uh, that they need to work on the preview server to get legitimate testing. Like, testers should have access to anything they need in-game. And that's not how the PC uh, preview server works. We're very limited on what we have access to. Uh, so this is like l literally launching the game for the first time. So let's do our calibrations here. Apply that. Uh, play. Oh, God. What is, okay, I don't want to see that. So what is this? Is this literally making a first character? Okay, so there's a tab here for import characters or make your brand new one, right? So let's go ahead and click the uh, imported character list. And uh, so it looks like there's a large, semi-large list. So it looks like two of every class, I guess. So we have Barbarian DPS 58k, Barbarian DPS 60k, but there's no Barbarian tank. Uh, but that doesn't matter. You can always re-roll these classes in-game. Uh, so we have a Bard DPS 63k, Bard Healer 61k, uh, Cleric DPS 62k slash Healer 70k, Cleric DPS 66k, Fighter DPS 63k, Paladin tank, only one fighter, no fighter tank either. Uh, Paladin tank 62k, but then this also says Paladin tank 73k. Ranger 61, Rogue 63, Rogue 67. Two different Warlock ones here, which is interesting. So Warlock 61, Warlock 65, and only one Wizard 61. So we're going to pick a Warlock. We're going to go with the 65k. Characters loaded. I believe it says it's going to log us out and then we have to log back in or something. So let's go see if this brings us our character now. We might still have to log back in and for it to appear. We'll see what happens here. Uh, no, so, okay. Generic name, okay. Martin Sky. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, it's starting in North Dark Reaches, which is funny. Why would not you just start in Protector's Enclave? All right, let's load in and see what we got going on here. I'll give you guys a basic rundown uh, of how preview works and what you need to look for and etc. So again, uh, Xbox is going to be at that disadvantage. You can't run any third-party software. So, you know... Um, like your act testing, you're not going to be able to parse damage. Uh, basically, for Xbox, this is literally just going to give you a little taste of uh, things to come. So, like when Mod 24 came out, then it just gives you a little taste of what to come. Um, I don't know what's going on with the chat over here. That's clearly a bug right off the bat. Um, I'm assuming since they took it right off of... Uh, PC, PC can actually change their chat. Uh, this is unusable on Xbox. You you can't drag and drop things on Xbox. So this is broken already. The chat's broken already. Uh, let's just jump right in and see what we got going on here. So they gave you portable altars. Uh, keep in mind that VIP does not exist uh, on preview. I'm assuming it doesn't on this either. Uh, there is no Zen market on preview. Uh, so unless they put it on Xbox, uh, they did actually. Okay, so on Xbox there is VIP. Uh, currently on PC, VIP doesn't exist. So you could get character slots here, and it looks like VIP, which is good for Xbox. I, I like that at least. So let's look at the gear. We got portable altars. We got some. Uh, why? I don't know why. Why would you put kits here? Uh, random lock boxes. Uh, reconnaissance lock box. A stealth lockbox, uh, lockbox of dark omens, uh, one enchanting stone rank three, one preservation ward, uh, clicky items for god knows why, um, one rank two potency, 
one random voucher, uh, a stack of invocation blessings, one potion of regeneration, uh, a bunch of refinement and random stuff. Like, wh who did this? <laughs> like, what is this? More random stuff. More random stuff. A fancy duelist mask, spike defenders. Unless there's loadouts on here, I don't understand the decision making behind this. A Kenku Archer. <laughs> like, what, what am I looking at, Cryptic? More random stuff. Mountaineer set. A bag. <laughs> what, what am I looking at here? Uh, the chick magnets cosmetic item. A doohickey. Uh, some random rings. Uh, random dye pack. Uh, some stone of health. A scroll of life. More random stuff. Like I, I don't know the logic behind any of this. Uh, apparently, 250k AD, 2.7 mil, random trade, but, so, I, I don't understand, someone just pre-made these classes and threw a bunch of random stuff on them, it looks like. Uh, 1400 re-rolls. Like, I don't, I don't understand the rhyme or reason to this. I wonder if every character is different as well. I'm, as, I'm assuming it is. Like, look at this. Like, this this is old. Like, these are old fouls, most likely. Just random stuff in here. Like, yeah, look at this. Faded Elemental Aggregate. Some of you watching this video don't even know what, what Elemental Aggregate is. This is clearly just old fouls that they threw on here and then tweaked it a little bit. 90% uh, of the things in this profession bag is useless. So... That's interesting. That's really interesting. Random vanity pets. So I'm assuming like a cryptic employee just like was playing this and then they just used the fouls of that, I guess. Like there's a lot of just random stuff in here. So let's go ahead and look at the gear, I guess. What do we what do we got here? Uh, it looks like we have an alliance set. Nothing spectacular. I mean, at least we have some mythic artifacts, I guess. So nothing spectacular. Okay, well at least he comes with all mythic uh, enchantments. That's a plus. Uh, they're character bound. I don't know why. Because theoretically I would just make several characters and then pick the enchantments I would need, etc. I don't know why these are all character bound. That's kind of dumb. Most important, let's see what the fashion we got going. So the this right here, this ivy mask, this doesn't even exist on Xbox, I don't believe. So is this a preview exclusive? Because I'm pretty sure that doesn't even exist uh, on Xbox. The Ivory Mask? Never heard of it. Interesting. Interesting, to say the least. This is interesting. So we are a Hellbringer. Um, this build is clearly bad. So whatever developer made this is doesn't know how to play a Warlock. Uh, okay. Let's look at Boons. Like... So he only has 14, so the campaigns aren't complete on here. He only has 14 points. Obviously not in a guild. Uh, companions, let's see what we've got. So we have a witch companion. Uh, so he does have at least a decent sized companion list here. Again, this must have just been some kind of random account that one of the developers were playing on. And whatever they had on that account, this is just the stuff that they, they have. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um... They, they've named all these companions, too. <laughs> That's funny. Like, this is just funny to me overall. Um, so there's the companions that you're getting with the Warlock, 65k Warlock. Um, it looks like Sharandar. I, I don't even... Uh, yeah, I think this is some of the Sharandar gear. Interesting. This is very interesting. Let's look at the mount. So let's see what we got as far as mounts go. Uh, does it have 100%? Oh, so this doesn't even have 100% bolster on companions, which is not a problem on preview, but, uh, the mount bolster is 100%. So 
So let's see what kind of what kind of mount skins we got in here. Any anything spicy? Anything spicy that wouldn't be on Xbox? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like anything spicy. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, so first and foremost, if you're new to preview, you've never had access to preview. There should be. They really they didn't they didn't add the preview stuff. So in the Wondrous Bazaar, there should be a preview tab, but they didn't add it. There's no preview tab here to buy preview stuff. So maybe that's why they stack a bunch of random stuff in here that isn't going to help you anyway. I'm, I'm confused on how this is working. Uh, this is very different uh, than PC. So when you would go to the Wondrous Bazaar on PC, there would be multiple tabs here for preview only stuff. So unless they put that somewhere else, I don't know. Let's let's actually go to the Enclave real quick. Let's buy VIP. Can we buy like multiple of these? Can I just like keep buying this? Can I just literally hold it down? Okay, so apparently I can. Okay. Um Yeah, cuz I just went from 0 0 days to over a year. Uh, so for right now, before they decide to take this away, uh, I'm literally just going to hold this down until I have like 10,000 days, guys. Oh no, it's gone! Oh no! Okay, well do not make that mistake that I just made, okay? Um, when you buy, buy VIP, guys, hold it down as long as you can, because now it's gone. For whatever reason, now I can't buy VIP anymore. Uh, so I should have held it down actually more. Uh, I got like a year's worth, essentially. Uh, it should be in here for free, non-stop. Like I said, it, it's not even on PC test server. They don't even have VIP on it. So maybe if I make a new character, I can do it again or something, but I doubt it. It's probably account bound. So right off the bat, if you made it up to this part in the video, um, when you're buying your VIP, just hold the button down until you feel like you have like 10 years worth of VIP. Because uh, they're not going to be in any rush to put that back in here on the Xbox xbox test server so just be aware of that okay but we do have our vip now so let's go ahead and um let's go to the enclave and see if they did anything as far as that goes uh they didn't even put the campaign buyouts on xbox or anything so right away i'm not really liking this on xbox i'm very rarely ever going to use this on xbox because i myself have preview access on pc and I have way more tools to utilize on PC than having to do it on console. So this was a push in the right direction overall. This gives people that only have an Xbox and don't have computers uh, a chance to at least preview some of the future content that's coming out. Uh, but you can't really do very much testing per se. Uh, so let's... I don't even know where to look, I guess. Um, see, on like PC preview, you have unlimited trade bars. Uh, but it appears that you can't really do anything on Xbox as far as that go, uh, as that goes, uh, because they don't have the tab here for preview gear and it doesn't look like they added it either anywhere. So that is something they're going to have to implement. Uh, I would assume they will. Like I said, this is like day one, day two of when this went live. Um, is there anything here? This is glowing for me. Maybe they put stuff here? No, so the Fallen Angel Wings is here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing... Nothing, unfortunately, that I'm seeing that would be different. There's no random NPCs or anything. So yeah, they need to add some things, unless there's stuff in the bank, maybe, too? I don't know. Let's check the bank real quick here. Oh, so there's a bunch of just random things in the bank, too. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, this is how old this data is. Companion Idol Slot Pack. How many of you watching this video know what that is? How many of you are OG Neverwinter players and know what this pack is? So, yeah. There is a, just a lot of random, random stuff in here that I'm not understanding. Uh, so yeah, the preview server is going to need a little bit of work on the Xbox side of things, 
Um, there's just some random stuff in here. <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, what What am I looking at, guys? What, what am I actually looking at here? Like, who did this? Whose account is this? <laughs> what developer's account is this, guys? Is there anything in the shared bank? No money, trade bars, tokens, nothing. Yeah, like, this is a little bit of a problem. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully they can get this situated then and get some stuff stuff up and running uh, so Xbox people can have a little fun. Because um, like I said, basically you can have unlimited trade bars, which means you can have unlimited scrolls of life for testing unlimited stone of health, uh, things like that. You buy all these companions, etc. Um, right now as it sits, it doesn't appear that we can even do much at this point. Why did this... Oh, did it just reset? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. It just hit 5 a.m. my time. I was like, why did this reset? <laughs> I shouldn't have claimed these. Oh, these are account. I was going to say, I shouldn't have claimed these angel wings because you can only get one set. And I don't know if I'm keeping this guy um, as my main on preview on this Xbox trap. I guess uh, re-roll, re uh, uh, one name re-roll here is going to cost me, you know, almost all of the money that this gives me because we're going to make multiple characters and play around with this for a little bit but i just wanted to get a first glance of this and see how it is oh look look who it is over here look who it is over here hi 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 <laughs> all right shout out to her even though she hates me so yeah, they have some work to, to clearly do on this. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I'll make more um, preview videos down the road as things develop. But for right now, I just wanted to give a glimpse of what it is. It is literally like day one, day two of this working. Uh, remember, you had to get invited to this. This isn't uh, access to everyone. I made videos on you know uh, how you had to send your information in and then they had to manually en enter it. So I'm sure they'll be doing more of that down the road as well so if you didn't get in this first round you will get in eventually it's just it's going to take them some time because they have to do it manually that's all i got for you guys today feel free to ask me questions down below in the comment section uh and yeah i'll see you guys real soon